Well guys, I did some additional progress of my Venom build and because I did work on a small chunk during the week, I didn't actually film it because it's a lot of work to set up all lights and cameras around. But there's a few moments that I think worthwhile talking about and that's why I would like to make this additional video today. To recap what has been done during last week, I watercooled second GPU, I connected both cards with a um, SLA bridge, so it became one rigid assembly, I put tubing between all blocks on the motherboard, and I selected clear UV reactive blue tube, and I think it goes well with overall design of the motherboard because it has a number of blue LEDs, so I, I will, would like to keep it as blue and uh, black type of the build in general. And um, last thing, I put entire assembly on Case Labs removable motherboard tray. With a couple of hiccups here and there, and that's why I would like to show you how it looks now and what actually I did in order to change it. Minor, minor changes, but nevertheless, I think it might help in certain situations to some of you. So let's look on the motherboard now. Okay, here's an overall view on assembly. I'll give you some 360 degree look on this stuff so as you see everything on the tray ready to be mounted into the case itself okay so you can see i water cooled both cars put them together i decided to spread them further i could put it slot next to each other to make them very close like this but i decided to make it bigger because I want to show cards better and it's really nice looking blocks. So when they space apart, you can see blocks much better when they mounted inside of the case. That's the reason why I did so. Motherboard itself supports 16 speed in a slot one, uh, three and five. So I use one and five. So it's no problems with the uh, performance here. Uh, another thing that I would like to talk about is um, if you remember those connections between between memory blocks and motherboard block on both sides, they was really tight. So I barely had a couple millimeters between. So it was almost impossible to put tubing on. And um, what I actually did here, I replaced one piece fittings, let's say 45 degree compression fittings with two separate pieces. I used straight fitting and 45 degree adapter. And because the fitting, which is one piece, has this additional lip, probably this is better to see here. You can see it's sticking like probably extra three millimeters away from the cup. And uh, with a straight fitting, it's actually, you don't have this part. So that allows me when I did the streak on both parts here, you see the distance now almost 10 millimeters. And before it was barely, I don't know, like four, three, and um, it didn't allow me to mount tubing properly. But when I use separate pieces of fittings to make those connections here and there, I uh, was able to give enough clearance to put tube in and without any trouble. So that's something to keep in mind if you guys making a really close connection between blocks and you running into situations that fitting just hit each other basically because of the short distance, replace them in two pieces construction and it'll get a little bit more breathing. I'm not sure if it's this applicable for other brand, but for Beats Power specifically, that works for sure, okay? So another thing that I really would like to talk to you about is um, I think one of the things I would do differently is I probably would mount entire assembly on a motherboard a little bit earlier. The problem was that the weight of all stuff that was on the motherboard was so huge that you're holding in your hand and it's, it's bending, visually bending. So it was really tricky to put it on a tray and I try to be as careful as possible. I hope there's no cracking or anything like this, but it would be a much smarter way to do it slightly differently when you, you see, it's pretty heavy. So when you 
when you let's say put your motherboard block on because they require access on the other side you uh, put CPU block on and then you put everything on on a tray without accruing too much weight this will be much easier to do then also you're losing access from one side because of this panel you still have access from all three and you can easily put your RAM blocks you put all your fittings and figure out your connections okay and uh, this will be much safer way as I feel it so that would be my advice for the future um, I said earlier that you know mount everything because it's easy access that's true but later you might have a little bit trouble of putting it in because it's such a heavy and uh, unbalanced weight you have all weight on one side and bottom of the <coughs> motherboard is actually it's like empty so a lot of stress on, stress on pcb so be careful here so other than that that's what i have and um, now i'm ready to put it into the case lab case and start figuring out all other all other connections and my biggest problem right now to decide on on um, radiator well that's all progress for this week i would like to thank you everybody who supports our channel and supports our store thank you for watching and i will see you soon with more updates